What is going on? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're carrying on with the Votro story again. So this time doing chapter number five, which is Votro cross country. Let's get into it. Some more modifications. I've tried to get it as close as possible to how Papa Fernando and a rally team would have built it. Really? <laughs> What's the problem? You don't think they would have taken a little modern technology if it made the Votro go faster? Just get in and hang on. <laughs> Understood. Rowdy set. I'll call out waypoints as we go. Are you ready for a time trial? I'm ready for anything in this. Hey, watch the body work. I just feel that. Waypoint one, Nanale. I'm going, I'm going. Nice slide. on the under tray. When Papa Fernando raced his ocho, he raced it hard. I replaced the tray and rebuilt the shocks. Should be good. How's the handling? Uh, it's good. Busy now, though. Got another waypoint for you. On route. Nice drive, my friend. I couldn't find a driver named Fernando Torres in the records for the Baja 500 or the Baja 1000. But that doesn't mean he didn't enter. What about the Dakar? Africa is a long way for a little bocho. Maybe that was just a story he told to Uncle Oscar and the other kids in the family. I know I would have sat and listened to him for hours. Hmm. Official or not, he must have been quite a racer. See, si, he was. Vamos. Okay, so that's that chapter completed. We did it in 2 minutes and 12 seconds. We needed 2 minutes and 30 seconds for 3 stars, so we did it. I did take a few different shortcuts. I did also have a couple of crashes as well, so the time could have been faster, but either way, we got there in the end with 3 stars. If it helped you out, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you on the next video. It has mucha información on the work he did to the bocho. I can't wait to try some of this stuff out. For fast handling on corners, we could go here. Or for straight line speed, here. 